Good afternoon, church family. Today is Monday, the 20th of February, and I'm grateful to be able to speak to you today just to give you this update of what's going on over the next couple of weeks here at First Baptist Church Concord. Uh, But before I do that, I'd love to say thank you to some folks. Uh, There has been a whole host of volunteers who have stepped up to help us through this interim time uh, regarding our music ministry. And so we've had those, and and I've tried to speak and call their names each Sunday. We've had those who have helped us out in leadership. But I want you to know it takes more than just the person on the platform to put together a music ministry. And so for those leaders, for Gary and Bob and Ashlyn and Corrigan and uh, uh, Will, those folks who have helped us, uh, but also to those who have filled out our um, our praise team and, and have been so faithful on the praise team. And then our accompanists and those who provide music and the sound crew and making sure that we sound good. Uh, just all of the folks and even our congregation, thank you for singing and thank you for following and thank you for being a part. Uh, everyone that's involved has done just great work and I'm so appreciative. Uh, I knew we could do it, but it's it's always a hesitation until it happens. And so I am so thankful for those who have jumped in and provided their talent their prayers, all of those things, uh, we have seen them come to fruition, and we praise the Lord for allowing us to worship him well, uh, even during this time of, of searching for our next music minister. So thank you all. I appreciate it. Uh, I can't say it enough. I am grateful to all of those who are, uh, are helping us out in this time. Uh, that being said, I do have some updates that I'd like to give to you. Uh, one is uh, very personal, but um, but still necessary, and that is tomorrow uh, we are uh, hosting and leading uh, the funeral service for Miss Louise Chester. Uh, Brother Millard and Miss Louise were uh, front and center of who our church was, involved in missions, involved in the uh, upbuilding of our church, involved in loving Jesus and worshiping well. And uh, last July, Brother Millard went on to be with the Lord uh, at the age of uh, 92, and and same this year with Miss Louise. She passed away last week, and so tomorrow we are celebrating her. Uh, The receiving of friends will be at 11 o'clock. The actual service will be at 12, so I invite you to come, please, and be a part. Uh, It's important. They were important to us. Uh, Every family is important to us, Uh, but they've been here for a long time. And uh, it'd be good to, uh, to just remember and reflect on her life uh, as we celebrate it tomorrow. So that, that is tomorrow, 11 o'clock receiving, 12 o'clock service. This Thursday, we will have no New Testament survey. This Thursday is Young Hearts Thursday. And so come out and be a part of that. Pastor Aaron will be leading that. And you're going to have some good food uh, so just come and, and enjoy that time together. That's this coming Thursday. Next week, on the 28th of February, it's Tuesday, we will be uh, hosting the Concord High School women's basketball team. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be here. Their coaches, uh, their parents will all be here to celebrate their awards banquet, end-of-year uh, awards time. And we get the opportunity to host them, to serve them food, uh, to share the gospel, to love on them. This is an outreach of our church. And so if you would like to be a part of that, please come. We need volunteers. We need servers. We need those to help clean up, those to help prepare the food, uh, all of those different things. So please, please mark it down. Come out. That's next Tuesday, the 28th of February. And then on Saturday, the 4th of March, uh, we will be having our missions banquet. We're trying it on a Saturday this year to see if it suits our schedules better. So come out and be a part of that. It's at 6.30 Saturday evening. We'll eat and we'll hear from uh, a variety of our missions partners. So please, this is important. It's about what we do. It celebrates us, but it also celebrates those who, who are grateful for us. It celebrates their ministries in Concord and beyond. And so uh, please come out and make plans. You need a ticket. You need to see someone from the missions committee. They have free tickets, uh, but we need to know how many to prepare for. So please get a ticket. 
uh, for each that are going to attend so that we can make, make proper preparations uh, for that. And then the next day, Sunday the 5th of March, we'll be celebrating our Mission First offering, celebrating missions, uh, all of that. That'll be that morning. It'll be a good morning. Come out and be a part of that. That's Sunday the 5th of March. And then Sunday the 12th of March, that next week, Uh, At 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to have a private screening of the Jesus Revolution. Now, it it takes place at the Carolina Mall Cinemas, so uh, it's there, and you need to buy a ticket. There's only 155 seats, and 92 of them were reserved yesterday. The tickets are $5. You get in to see the movie, plus you get popcorn and Coke, uh, or, or whatever they serve there. I don't know what it is. Probably Pepsi. Uh, since it's Carolinas. But anyway, you get a a Pepsi and a a bag of popcorn and uh, all of that for $5. But you need to to get your tickets. We'll have them available this Wednesday night. We'll also have them available this coming Sunday. Uh, They are going quickly. Those who haven't gotten them already have, have been contacting us and saying, hey, save us some. Well, we can't save any because of the limited number. But uh, it is first come, first serve. But you'll be able to get them this Wednesday evening and then this coming Sunday. I need to say something about this. Uh, We're doing this a little differently than normal. And the only reason why I'm going uh, into an elaboration of it here is because I want you to uh, hear from our hearts and I want it to be transparent. Uh, This is hosted by Myra and myself. Uh, we wanted to do this. Uh, we want, we needed to make a move quickly. And so we didn't take it through any of the church channels. We didn't ask the church for any upfront money. Uh, the upfront money came from us. And, uh, and so then, uh, these $5 tickets, which reserve your seat, uh, that money is going to come back to us just to go, go back into, uh, the money that we put out. Uh, to hold the the theater. I just say that because I want to be transparent. Uh, No no money is coming or going from our church. Uh, This is all all personal. It's a private, kind of a private showing, but we wanted to do it for our church. And so you're invited. We want you to be a part. Uh, The the money for the tickets is just to save your seat, really, um, and to offset what we put in to to reserve the, the theater. I know that's a long story. You may not have cared, but uh, if you were on finance committee, let's say, or if you were uh, just to investigate, hey, where'd that money come from? How come we don't see it going through the church or anything like that? You just need to know it came from us, and uh, it's coming back to us to, to offset that. So this was something very private, but I wanted, or not private like I didn't want you to know, but private like it, it happened outside of the of the movement of the church. Now, I've probably talked about it way too long, uh, made a big bigger deal out of it than it should have been, but we wanted you to know, just for the sake of transparency, uh, one of the things that I was told when I first got into the ministry, never to mess with is the money. And so this is, this is why I'm explaining it to you now, just so you understand where the monies came from first and where they're going back to, um, just for the sake of transparency. So... Thank you for bearing with me on that. Sorry if it was too complicated. Um, uh, You might be thinking, wow, he's protesting too much. I'm not really protesting. I'm just explaining, and I want you to know. So if you have any other questions about that, if that concerns you, come talk to me. Uh, I am an open book if you ask the right questions. So God bless you. I hope you have a great week. Uh, I can't wait to see you. Come back Wednesday night. Celebrate with us Wednesday night. Come tomorrow tomorrow. Um, celebrate the life of Miss Louise tomorrow, uh, encourage the family, pray for the family um, for tomorrow, and then, uh, and then make each one of these events uh, something that you can do. Put it on your calendar and attend to it that way. God bless you, church family. I love you. I can't wait to see you soon. Have a great week.